I still remember that night when Alex and I arrived at a small restaurant named Mystic Eats in the city. The name of the restaurant had an air of mystery and allure, which was one of the reasons we decided to have our date there. Moonlight spilled onto the floor through the windows, creating soft patches of light. As we entered the restaurant, the atmosphere of mystery enveloped us, as if every candle was quietly recounting ancient tales. The waitstaff wore perpetual smiles, smiles that seemed to conceal secrets unknown to others, stirring my curiosity and unease. I glanced at the menu, while Alex surveyed our surroundings, seemingly captivated by the place. Suddenly, my attention was drawn to a waiter named Jack. His smile seemed unending, his gaze holding a glint I couldn't quite fathom. When Alex went to the restroom, Jack approached me, gracefully inquiring, Miss, is there anything I can do for you? I felt a bit odd, but I smiled and told him that I was here for dinner with a friend. He nodded with a smile, then walked away with measured steps, as if he knew more than I had shared. When Alex returned, we continued our dinner happily. However, as he walked away again, Jack approached me once more. He smiled and in a soft voice, said, if you're willing, I can drive you home in 10 minutes. I was taken aback, unsure how to respond. Though I felt uneasy, his smile strangely compelled me to agree. Yet, just then, Alex returned unexpectedly. He smiled and seemed not to notice Jack's presence. Jack politely greeted him and left our table. I was puzzled, wondering why he had suddenly departed. The next day, I read a shocking news article, the night before, a murder had occurred near Mystic Eats, and the suspect was none other than Jack, the person I had seen in the restaurant. A chill ran down my spine as I realized I had conversed with a murderer, and a heavy feeling settled over me. As time went on, the police gradually unveiled the truth. It turned out that Jack had been a psychologist, using his insight and abilities to select specific patrons in the restaurant, then commit crimes. His smile wasn't genuine, it was a mask concealing his heinous actions. The enigmatic atmosphere of Mystic Eats ceased to attract me, instead, I was left with a sense of unease about the world. I came to understand that the truth isn't always easy to discern, and sometimes, even more twisted and sinister things lurk beneath the surface. This experience taught me that sometimes, people's smiles can hide greater conspiracies. I still remember that night when Alex and I arrived at a small restaurant named Mystic Eats in the city. The name of the restaurant had an air of mystery and allure, which was one of the reasons we decided to have our date there. Moonlight spilled onto the floor through the windows, creating soft patches of light. As we entered the restaurant, the atmosphere of mystery enveloped us, as if every candle was quietly recounting ancient tales. The waitstaff wore perpetual smiles, smiles that seemed to conceal secrets unknown to others, stirring my curiosity and unease. I glanced at the menu, while Alex surveyed our surroundings, seemingly captivated by the place. Suddenly, my attention was drawn to a waiter named Jack. His smile seemed unending, his gaze holding a glint I couldn't quite fathom. When Alex went to the restroom, Jack approached me, gracefully inquiring, Miss, is there anything I can do for you? I felt a bit odd, but I smiled and told him that I was here for dinner with a friend. He nodded with a smile, then walked away with measured steps, as if he knew more than I had shared. When Alex returned, we continued our dinner happily. However, as he walked away again, Jack approached me once more. He smiled and in a soft voice, said, if you're willing, I can drive you home in 10 minutes. I was taken aback, unsure how to respond. 
Though I felt uneasy, his smile strangely compelled me to agree. Yet, just then, Alex returned unexpectedly. He smiled and seemed not to notice Jack's presence. Jack politely greeted him and left our table. I was puzzled, wondering why he had suddenly departed. The next day, I read a shocking news article, the night before, a murder had occurred near Mystic Eats, and the suspect was none other than Jack, the person I had seen in the restaurant. A chill ran down my spine as I realized I had conversed with a murderer, and a heavy feeling settled over me. As time went on, the police gradually unveiled the truth. It turned out that Jack had been a psychologist, using his insight and abilities to select specific patrons in the restaurant, then commit crimes. His smile wasn't genuine, it was a mask concealing his heinous actions. The enigmatic atmosphere of Mystic Eats ceased to attract me, instead, I was left with a sense of unease about the world. I came to understand that the truth isn't always easy to discern, and sometimes, even more twisted and sinister things lurk beneath the surface. This experience taught me that sometimes, people's smiles can hide greater conspiracies. In the quiet ambience of Whispering Plates restaurant, a young woman enjoys a dinner date with her companion. The restaurant is so hushed that even the footsteps of the servers are barely audible. As the evening progresses, an aura of tranquility envelopes the place, casting an enchanting spell on the diners. While her date is away, the woman notices a server gliding silently to her side. The server's presence startles her, yet she maintains her composure. With a soft voice, the server inquires if she needs any assistance. Intrigued by the encounter, she briefly shares her experiences with dating. The server listens attentively, his demeanor calm and composed. The server then surprises her by offering to drive her home in 10 minutes, a proposition she finds rather unexpected. While perplexed, she senses an inexplicable trust in his words and manners, and she cautiously agrees, her curiosity piqued. When her date returns, they finish their meal and leave the restaurant. As they step back into the bustling city, the quiet of whispering plates feels like a distant memory. However, the woman can't shake off the lingering feeling that something was amiss during their dinner. The next day, her unease transforms into shock as she stumbles upon a news headline. A murder has occurred outside Whispering Plates, the same restaurant where they dined. The tranquility that had initially attracted her is now intertwined with a chilling truth. In the investigation that follows, the woman finds herself drawn into the enigmatic circumstances surrounding the murder. She questions her own experience at the restaurant, wondering about the server's offer and the eerie stillness that pervaded the atmosphere. As details unfold, it becomes apparent that there's more to the restaurant's silence than meets the eye. As the investigation delves deeper, a disturbing narrative emerges. The hushed ambience was a guise, a way to distract patrons from the nefarious activities transpiring behind the scenes. The woman's initial unease transforms into a realization that her night at Whispering Plates was more than just a dinner date, it was a dance on the edge of danger. The silent night at Whispering Plates teaches her a lesson about the deceptive nature of appearances and the eerie silence that can cloak even the darkest of secrets. The tale serves as a reminder that sometimes, the most unsettling stories unfold beneath the veneer of calm. Renowned for its unique ambience and enigmatic service, Enigmatic Eateries has captured attention as a dining destination like no other. On a particular evening, a young man takes his date to the restaurant, drawn by its intrigue. However, an unsettling atmosphere casts a shadow over her experience. As they settle into their seats, 
the woman notices something peculiar, the waitstaff's unwavering gaze directed towards her. The waiters seem fixated on her, their eyes never wavering. Though she tries to ignore it, a feeling of discomfort lingers beneath the surface. During a moment when the young man excuses himself to use the restroom, a waiter unexpectedly takes his place across from her. His sudden presence startles her, and she struggles to mask her unease. He begins to engage her in conversation, asking her probing questions about the date and her experiences. The waiter's soft-spoken demeanor does little to alleviate her discomfort. She feels increasingly trapped, the gaze of the other waitstaff still fixed upon her. He offers to drive her home in ten minutes, his words spoken with an unsettling calmness. Desperate for an escape from this unsettling situation, she hesitantly agrees. Just as suddenly as he appeared, the waiter vanishes as her date returns to the table. The woman's heart races as she realizes the waiter's abrupt disappearance. Doubts plague her mind, was it all in her imagination, or had the waiter been a mere figment of her unease? The following day, news of a murder outside enigmatic eateries sends a chill down her spine. She can't help but connect the dots, her mind wandering to the mysterious waiter and the ominous vibes that surrounded him. Her sense of unease deepens as the puzzle pieces begin to fall into place. Intrigued by the unsettling series of events, the woman begins her own investigation. As she delves deeper into the enigma of the restaurant and its staff, she uncovers a sinister truth. The waitstaff's piercing gazes were not a mere coincidence, they were part of a much darker game being played beneath the surface. The gaze of the waiter teaches her that appearances can be deceiving and that the eyes that seem to observe may hide a sinister intent. The tale serves as a reminder that sometimes, even in the most unexpected places, danger lurks behind a facade of intrigue.